In this video, I will show you how to create an animation for a social media subscriber count as well as an animation for increasing likes and views counters using After Effects. It looks super cool and you can use it to showcase how your subscriber count has increased over a short period or how your video is going viral. Hey there, I'm Sankesa and welcome to Vertical Darts. Here I have my YouTube channel page. I have removed the original information using Photoshop so we can add the increasing subscriber count animation here. Let me lock this image so it won't get in our way. Now select the text tool and I will type 0. Actually it doesn't matter what you write because after we add the effect it will default to 0. Adjust the scale and position. Change the font to your liking. For the color, we will use the dropper tool to select the text color from the image so it matches the rest of the text. Now go to the effects and presets panel and search for slider control. Double click to apply the effect to the selected layer. First let's see how the increasing number animation works. Expand the effects properties. Then expand the slider control. After that expand text properties. Here we will link the source text to the slider. Use the pick whip tool to drag it to the slider or you can drag it to the effect controls panel. Let's add keyframes to the slider. Click the stopwatch icon to create the first keyframe. Then move the playhead further and change the number to 3000 or any number you prefer. You will see the numbers increase but they will include every possible decimal variation. Let me move its position so you can see it clearly. We don't want to see decimals, right? Let's fix that by making the numbers round. Expand source text and you will notice an expression has been automatically added when we link the source text to the slider. We will add more to this expression. Type dot value and the value expression will show up in the suggestion box. Just hit enter. Then type dot to fixed capital F. Hit enter again. And in the parenthesis add a zero. Now you will see rounded numbers. But if you want to add decimals, you can easily adjust this. For example, if you change the 0 to 1, it will give you 1 decimal place. If you change it to 2, it will show 2 decimal places. And so on. Let's keep it at 0 for now. Also, if you want to add a dollar sign before the number, you can do that easily. At the start of the expression, add a double quotation mark, then the dollar sign. Close the quotation mark and add a plus sign. This will attach the dollar sign to the number. Similarly, you can add any symbol after the number. Go to the end of the expression, add a plus sign, then a double quotation mark. This time, let's add the percentage symbol. And you are all set. We will use this to add the subscriber text to our animation. 
just replace the percentage symbol with the word subscribers. It's looking too close to the number. So let's add some space between them. Simply add a space between the first quotation mark and the word and that will fix it. If you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Now that the subscriber count is increasing, we want to add a comma after every 1000 subscribers. To do that, we will use another expression. I have added the expression in the description, so just copy paste it. Copy the expression. Then after the word subscribers, add a semicolon. Hit enter and paste the expression. If you do this, it will show an error. Number is not defined. To fix it, go to the beginning of the expression and type num equal to. That should do the trick. It's looking good, but let's make it more dynamic. Make both the text and image layers 3D. Link the text layer to the image layer so they move together as one unit. Now open the scale, position and rotation properties of the image layer. Add keyframes to all properties. Then move the playhead forward and make changes to the position, scale and rotation properties. It will look like this. You can use the same technique to create this animation. Let me quickly show you how I created this line animation. Select the pen tool. For the fill, select none. And for the stroke, choose a solid color. Increase its width. Hold shift to create a straight line. Expand the shape layer, expand contents, expand shape 1 and then expand stroke 1. Change the line cap to the round cap. Pick a grey color for this one. Duplicate the line by pressing command or control plus D. Change the color to red or any color you prefer. Expand the layer, click Add and choose Trim Paths. Expand Trim Paths 1, move the playhead to the beginning and create a keyframe for the end property setting it to 0. Then move the playhead to the end and set the end to 100%. And that's set. I hope you found this video helpful. Check out more After Effects tutorials on my channel and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.